Welcome back my YouTube friends. We are back today with another video. If you guys caught the last one that we've done, we kind of went over Nightbot. Today we're gonna go over Botrix. Um, so for those of you guys that like to stream to kick, there are a lot more bots that are starting to integrate with kick nowadays. We'll get to those eventually, I'm sure, hopefully within this series. Um, but today we're gonna go over Botrix. It's kind of like one of those first bots that really came out when kick came out. Uh, it's still in beta. There's still a lot going on with it, but there are a lot of useful tools in here that we're gonna go over today. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, as you can see, this is Botrix. Now, just like any other bot or really anything else you use in the streaming world, you have to link it to one of your profiles. Um, some of them do allow Google, um, but it really is just easier to go ahead and link this with whatever you're streaming to. Um, for instance, I have Twitch. Uh, I'm linked to YouTube on this one, as you guys can see up here in this top left corner. Um, we're hooked up to the YouTube. The really cool thing about this is there's so much that Botrix is offering now. It does have Trovo support, uh, Twitch, YouTube, Discord, Kick, TikTok, and whatever this gilded thing is. I have no idea. I probably need to look into that since I like to multi-stream. Um, but let's go. So um, for the profiles before we start, actually, you see up here it says platform YouTube. So anything I change here um, will primarily be for YouTube. There are some things that we'll get into later where it lets you check mark what platforms you want those things to work on. So at those times, you don't have to log into a different account, um, but you have to make sure you're logged into the account whenever you're like changing alerts and stuff like that. Um, and all you would do to that is just hit the settings on it. So if I wanted to switch to my Twitch, I would just hit settings, boom, I'm switched to the Twitch, but we're just gonna go ahead and stay in YouTube for the sake of this video. Alerts, okay, this is really cool guys. What you're going to do here is you're going to um, edit all your alerts here. These green buttons up top is where you can test them. You can test the alerts. And then here's the widget that you'll actually add in to OBS. Let's go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do is copy. We haven't changed anything, so everything should be base. So let's copy it and let's go put it into OBS. All right, guys, we have our OBS open. We're in our test OBS here. Um, we're on live scene. So we go to sources. We hit the plus button. We'll hit browser source. And we'll call this, I don't know, YT Alerts. Sounds good to me if I could spell. Hit OK. All we got to do is put in that URL that we just copied over. You don't have to mess with any of this. I would like to control audio from OBS. Um, and I would like it to refresh anytime the browser comes active. Hit OK. Here it is. So now if I go back and we'll minimize it just so you guys can kind of see. I'll put it over here. If you guys remember, we scrolled down these top green buttons, which were test buttons. We're going to test that we got a membership. There we go. And um, I guess because I do have it actually linked to mine, we are going to be getting the actual alert there that I have set up. Um, I've recently moved away from these just because YouTube is very strict with sounds and stuff like that. Um, but there you go. You guys can test it. And then that's how you put it into your OBS. But anyways, going back to it, these are the buttons you work on. The big thing is, is to pay attention to what tab you're on. So we're on subscriptions. See, mine's not active. So you'll want to click that box if you want to use this. So those will be active. Here you can select your styles. Here's how you want it to look, your provisions. Do you want the picture on top and the text on bottom, picture to the left, and et cetera. You guys kind of see how this is, you know, text over picture. Here you can set the uh, duration of the alert. Here's your animation. If you want an animation, just make it look a little bit fancier. Um, here's where you can upload your own personal image um, right here, or you can use what they have in their library, which is pretty good. I'm not going to lie, but it is good to be creative and have your own. Here's where you can set the default volume of the alert, which I also clicked to control it in OBS just for quick uh, control if I need it. So I don't have to go to the browser and open this up every time. Here you can control the top text color, the bottom text color. Here is the um, the font that you want to use. And then your positioning and stuff like that. And then um, here's where you can see the text. So I say thanks for the sub and then it has their name out by it. Um, you can see how long it appears and then you can make a custom code if you want to. The most important part is down here on the bottom guys that you hit save. Whenever you're done hit save. And then when you're ready to do the next one, so we go to super chats. Now we have super chats. Now you gotta do all that stuff again or set it up however you want it. And then make sure you hit save every time. 
And then when you're done out of good habit, just to make sure everything works, I would go ahead and copy this URL. I would go back to my OBS. I would just simply click on YT alerts. I would simply remove that and I'd paste the new one back in there. Okay. Just out of good habit, just make sure everything is absolutely correct. Um, some, some bots you don't have to, I'm not sure with Botrix if you have to, or if it just sends it to that link, no matter what. Um, but there are some bots that you absolutely have to do that. It's just a good habit guys. Um, but back to Botrix is our main. So those are the alerts. We have widgets, you have TTS, which is text to speech. For those of you that don't know, you have a spectator account so you can see how many people are in your live stream. This one's really cool. Um, if you like that kind of thing, if you're not into that thing, oh well, but this is, like I said, we're logged into YouTube and they have this for everyone. So like they have it for TikTok, they have it for everyone. So it's super good. Um, definitely enjoy using this personally. But again, if you don't wanna see how many viewers you have, you don't have to guys. There's a subathon, definitely a cool way to set up um, this extension. There's a uh, goal subscriber, so you can set up, you know, a little widget on your screen. Kind of click into that, it would look like this. So you can see how many subscribers you need. So I'm at 1,910 at this time, and then, you know, have a goal. Um, sometimes having a goal on screen helps people kind of want to help you reach it there. If they like you, if they like the, the energy or whatever, they come in, they're like, wow, I want to help this guy, you know, get his uh, subscribers up. So those are a very cool thing if you want that stuff on your screen and then membership for goals likes donations um, event labels this is your chat overlay this is one of those times we we're talking about um so if you want to have like multiple chats overlay onto like your screen you can have this here um so you pick like i would want my twitch my youtube my kick i don't even use that so those three will be what is sent. Um, you can have that overlaid, like I said, on your live scene, or you can use it as a chat doc. So you can read multiple chats if you want. Um, then they have their own chat bot. If you guys watched my last video, it's very similar. Moderation, there's cats protection, so people aren't spamming caps. There's protection against people putting links in. It'll just delete their message. If you don't want emote walls in there, you can, have that disabled or, or if you enable that basically if somebody's spamming just a bunch of emotes that'll delete their messages i don't know why you'd want that i'm not sure um but if that's your you know if that's if you just don't like emotes being spammed in your uh, chat then you're more than welcome to have that and then there's protection of symbols um you can name your bot if you want to here's your commands like i have personal s point discord and you'll get the link to join my discord and then here again, when you edit it, you can select what platforms you want that to uh, work in. So if you have Botrix um, modded in each one of those platforms, if somebody hits that, Botrix will go and put that message in those respective places. I even have it to where it does it in my Discord. Timers are messages that pop up every so often, however you set up. So my link tree will pop up randomly um, every 25 minutes, as long as there's at least five lines of chat, and that happens for YouTube and Kick. Um, very good very good timers um just cool things like reminding you know hey 20 20 dollar dono i'm gonna get up and do some kind of crazy fiesta dance you know that timer pops up i don't have to sit here and be like hey guys donate 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 and, and feel and look bad by just requesting people to donate this message pops up no harm no foul you can take the initiative to read it like oh yeah guys as you guys can see by the timer right there we do have 20 dollar donuts i'll get up and do a crazy dance today if you want to if you don't want to say it, you don't want to push it because you feel weird about it. That's totally okay. Maybe not the best practice because maybe you definitely want to be talking about it. Some people aren't reading those things. You know, maybe they're lurking. Maybe they're just listening. And you you, you say those things and they're like, oh, wow, I want to I want to see that. And then they'll come in and do it. Um, it's totally up to you guys. Um, but yeah, timers are super good. Here's some extras. You know, chat alerts. So if somebody messages, it, it'll do like a little ding in your ear for you or... Um, and somebody comes in and will welcome them uh, change language voice messages level system point system this is a premium thing so you have to uh, upgrade to their premium but basically if you're familiar with twitch channel points this is a really cool way to create channel points and other platforms like youtube or kick where they can uh they'll level up and stuff just by watching you and they can get points and stuff um very awesome uh thing that botrix added here i haven't used it uh because i refuse to pay for premium right now um, but the cool part is, is everybody's earning their points regardless, as long as you have it, uh, level, level system. 
So in the future, if I ever decide to do it, they're going to have a crap ton of points available. And um, there's rankings. Um, you can select points levels or both. And then you can import. So we did Nightbot earlier. You can import all your commands, timers, and mod settings directly from Nightbot. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, again, profiles, how you switch between your profiles. You have loyalty, which is kind of those points, rankings. That's where you go to your store stuff. But again, all that stuff costs. You have mini games, roulette, slots, and gambling, which is really cool. Interactions, you have song requests, community betting. Um, these two are coming soon. I'm really excited to see what they're going to be adding. This kind of has a little ticket sign. This kind of has a timer sign. So I'm kind of interested to see if is this going to be like a giveaway widget or something. I don't know. Really excited to see what um, Botrix is bringing. That's why after being here for over a year, I don't mind that they're still in beta because they're still innovating. They're still adding things or changing things. This UI is way easier to use. It is very similar to how it came out, but it was very, very laggy when it first came out. Um, you have referrals, which is a beta program. And then all your typical documentation and support stuff. But guys, that's pretty much it for bot tricks. If you're interested in this bot or you've seen something here that's going to help you be like, yeah, I want to use that bot. It's a great bot. I have no problems with it. I definitely love the overlay. I love the um, integration with kick. It works very well. So yeah, guys, other than that, zero complaints with this bot. Um, again, I'm a guy, I use multiple different bots. So if this bot doesn't have something, I just get a different bot. I don't mind keeping up with all these things. Sometimes it is confusing, but like what bot does that one thing again? Um, but that's why I make sure I name everything in my OBS. That way I can refer back to that bot. Um, very rarely is it like, I just totally forget about it and I'm lost. Um, but let me know down below guys, what bot you think I should cover next. I definitely want to cover mix it up eventually, but I feel like mix it up could literally be a, its own series. I mean, there is a thousand million things to do in mix it up bot. And um, we're very excited to get into that one. I think that's going to be a lot of good content for me personally. And as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it helps you out in some way or fashion. Guys, leave me a like, leave me a comment, sub to the channel if you're not subbed. Feel free to ask me any questions down in the comments. Thank you for watching to this point in the video. Much love. We'll see you in the next one. We got this energy streaming all day, never missing a beat. We're taking over, racing heat to the peak. Watch me level up.